In high school, I had a counselor that I saw for my career development. I was excelling in math classes and they place you on a chart what your career path could be if you're good in math and science. So I saw engineering on the list and I thought, wow, maybe I should try that. I'm excelling in math. I told my counselor and my counselor, uh, he basically challenged me and said that that's not a very good choice. Women don't really go into that field. So of course I took the challenge and went to college, graduated with a degree, and now I'm in the steel industry. There's another girl that was in line with me and she wanted to go, we were both in excelled math classes in high school and she wanted to go into engineering and the counselor told her the same thing. And I said, look, you do what you want to do. You can do whatever you want. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't. If you are getting good grades, you can go to off to college and make a career. And that's what I did. I continued on my path in mechanical engineering. I really like the people. The people are really interesting and friendly. I also like the activity. When you come into work, it's never a dull moment. It's running from the time you get into work to the time you have to leave. I feel the most important Gerdau principle is simplicity. Just because we have a fast-paced environment, my other uh, important principle that I feel is openness. When everybody comes to the table with several different ideas, there's different avenues of way of looking at things. With one individual, you only have with one or two ideas. With a group or a team, you have several ideas that you guys can choose from or agree upon. My leadership style is lead by example. I feel that the employees will follow if they see that you're doing exactly what you're asking them to do. They appreciate what you do and, and you're working with them instead of above them.